So what's up, people? This is Robert Bassano. I wanted to come to you guys today because those of you who have heard me speak, um, reviewed some data from the other channel I had, Project Planate, you know I'm a guy, I'm a researcher who provides documentation. And there, there's some of you who you don't trust the documentation. You think it's just put out there into open source to deceive us. and But you, you don't provide any fucking information to say that the information is false. So if you're going to attack what I put out as far as documentation, but you can't come back to tell me, hey, I found the same information and here goes the original source information. So the information you put out. Uh, is not credible because this is what the original source says, then you just need to shut the fuck up. Because if you're going to challenge what I put out as far as documentation, but you don't have anything to refute it or back or, or, or challenge it, then you're just fucking fishing, man. If you don't want to trust anything, then just stop the fucking research. Stop posting fucking videos. Stop talking shit if you ain't got nothing to back it up with. But my point being is this. The purpose of this video is that um, Mark Sargent had some people on his talk show, Navy missile instructor, a few other uh, military type persons. Basically, you're just speaking based on whatever experience and job that they have with the United States military, whether it be the Navy, the Army, the Air Force. But what's interesting about these people that he brings on is they're speaking about this, but they don't bring any fucking documentation with them. That we find in open source. And most of these people you know, with the exception of a flight officer, they're fucking enlisted guys. I don't give a fuck what their rank is. Third class, second class, first class, chief, senior chief, master chief. You know, if they're in the Navy, you know, tech sergeant, master sergeant. I don't give a specialist. I don't give a fuck what their rank is. Bring some fucking documentation, man. I was in the military. I still got some of the military docs that are open source. There's a bunch of websites you can go to. Publicintelligence.net, Krypton.org. You can even go to the DOD's website to find this shit. These people on the show talking, they don't give any kind of fucking technical specs and breakdown of capabilities of equipment and military technology. And then you just expected to fucking trust what they say. Now, I'm all for it that they're on the show and, you know, you got Marcus bringing some credibility to the movement. But damn, get these people to bring some documentation. So what I'm showing you guys right now is the Tomahawk cruise missile. All right. This is what it looks like. It's built like a fucking aircraft. A plane. This thing functions like a plane. A high speed fucking jet. That's what it functions. And its capabilities, and this is old data, but the upgraded systems, the upgraded systems can go their range, according to this land attack, conventional warhead, they have this one at 600 nautical miles. The new ones, the upgraded Tomahawks, can go about 1,000 miles. 1,000 nautical miles over land. 1,000 nautical miles. And this is from... Uh, Federation of American Scientists, FAS.org. You can go to the Navy's website. You can go to Raytheon's website. They'll tell you what the technical capability of the of this cruise missile is. Okay? But what pisses me off is that you got all these people talking on this show. You got one guy. You got one guy. One fucking guy. That I saw in a video the other day who showed his Freemason certifications and documentation so my point being is that you know when people say well here goes proof that the earth is flat here goes proof that there's no curvature here goes proof 
the government agrees. We all know they fucking agree. And I'm going to prove to you, I'm going to always prove to you that they agree. The government, the world, every defense group around the world who we sell these systems to and whose systems we purchase, whose systems we model after, they all use the flat earth model. Anything that flies over the land of the earth is based on the fucking flat earth model. Let's agree on that shit right now. Any person who believes we're on a fucking spinning ball, rotating at a thousand miles an hour, I don't give a fuck if you can feel it or not, just the mere fact, the concept of it rotating at 30, 1,000 miles an hour, spinning through free space at 67,000 miles an hour, is a fucking fool. They're a fucking idiot if they believe that. Because all you need to do is go to companies like Raytheon, Lockheed, Martin, BAE Systems, and look at their weapon systems, technical specifications. Some of the shit is classified. You're not going to be able to get that data. But I guarantee you there will be universities and people who write white papers all over the world who talk about enhancing these systems, building better systems. And when they talk about the analysis and construct and design and development of these systems, they're, they're talking about moving these systems from one from point A to point B. And rather they be ballistic missiles or strategic missiles or surface to air or air, air, air to ground, you know. Well, we talk about the tomahawk. The tomahawk, literally, this shit can be like oh, about 20, 30 feet off the fucking ground. Depending on where it's going. I know when I was in the first Gulf War, shit, I saw a tomahawk that couldn't be any more than maybe 30, 40 feet off the fucking ground. I saw it screaming across the fucking flat desert floor in Saudi Arabia. With my own eyes, I didn't have any binoculars or anything. I had a clear line of sight, and I could see at least for a quarter mile or more across the desert. And I saw this thing scream across the desert to level a three-story building. How do I know? Because I was with the reconnaissance team that called in the coordinates for that building, and we watched from a distance that tomahawk comes screaming across the desert, maybe 30, 40 feet off the ground, and literally level that building. Flat plane, people. We keep arguing about all the proof and proof and proof. Globers can't provide any proof. They can't provide any fucking proof that the Earth is a spinning globe. The only proof they can provide is that bullshit NASA puts out. Those fucking artist renditions, those photo composites, Shot from a fucking high altitude U-2 aircraft. Or NASA's aircraft. NASA's drone. That can fly at high altitudes as well. Probably higher than the U-2. And take. Geospatial. Photographs of the earth making it appear, based on the camera view, that these photos are being taken from space at 328,000 feet above the surface of the Earth. That's bullshit. Nothing is aerodynamically stable above the Kármán line. Zero. Zero is stable at above the Kármán line at 328,000 feet. Those photos are not being fucking taken from more than 200,000 feet. And if... And at that altitude, they got to be literally flying faster than the speed of sound. They have to be breaking the sound barrier just to stay stable. So you got to ask yourself why they have to give you composites and artist renditions. Because the fucking vehicle is flying so goddamn fast, they can't get a complete panoramic view of a large area fast enough. So they got to make several passes. That's why they have more than one drone. They're following in a set grid pattern to shoot these photos. But let's, let's go over this because I want to show you a doc. This is the Tomahawk missile. Okay? Let's pull this up. Let's check it out together. 
So this shows you how this thing is designed, right? It went out a bit too big there. Here goes the configuration overview. Land attack nuclear, significant features. This is this is basically it's a missile, but it's an aircraft. It's designed behind an aircraft. It does the same thing a fucking high speed jet does. A fighter jet. It performs the same way. That's all it is. It's an unmanned fucking missile, man. But to prove to you this is designed based on the flat earth model, I'm going to pull up the document to show you. Okay? And here we go. Here's the document to prove that that missile is designed behind the flat earth model mathematics. I'm going to prove it to you. You got a lot of naysayers and doubters out there. You got all these fucking globers trolling and flat earth channels talking all kinds of shit. And here you go, right here. Right fucking here, people. Let's read this together. All right? Let's go ahead a little bit because you guys need to understand the language that's being used. Engineering level analysis and tools to estimate. To estimate tomahawk effectiveness at the engineering level, i.e. the subsystem or component level, requires detectability and engageability analysis. As detectability analysis focuses on a variety of surveillance systems, ergo radar and passive detection systems, and an engageability analysis involves a wide range of surface-to-air missiles, air-to-air -air missile systems, and gun systems. For the detectability analysis, several land-based radar modeling tools are available. One model is the Technical Radar Analysis Modeling System, TRAMS, which simulates a one-on-one -on -one encounter between an airborne vehicle, in this case a Tomahawk missile, and a single land-based radar. See the box inserted on TRAMS. Okay. The inputs the inputs include functional description of radar systems and the radar cross section of the tomahawk and the initial atmospheric conditions. Tomahawk trajectories are typical typically represented as a set of straight and level flight profiles each at different altitudes over flat terrain flat terrain if actual trajectories are available from the mission planning process described later in this article they can be used over actual terrain now let's get this shit let me repeat this tomahawk trajectories are typically represented as a set of straight and level flight profiles, each at different altitudes over flat terrain. They say level, people. Level. Level means fucking flat. Straight means fucking flat, linear. This is not a figure of speech. This is not a passive mention. This is not a frame of reference mention. When they fucking say flat terrain, they mean fucking flat terrain. When they say level flight profiles, they mean the aircraft is flying level over a flat terrain. It's mapping the terrain, which is fucking flat. Now, you have your, your, your surface area bulges. You have, you know, the inclines and slope declinations. You have um, cliff sides, all of that shit that's factored in. And that's why they say if there's actual terrain data they can use based on the topography of the landscape, then they can take that information and input it into the system to accommodate so that when that tomahawk is flying across the flat plain, if it has to navigate around, you know, cliffs and mountainsides, then it knows how much room it has to 
make course corrections. It's not making any course corrections based on fucking curvature. And this thing has got a range of 600 to 1,000 nautical miles. 600 to 1,000 nautical fucking miles. So where the fuck is the curvature? Really? There is no fucking curvature. I don't know how many documents I got to fucking recover and show you people. And when I say you people, I'm talking about globe globe heads and fucking flat earthers who think they fucking have it have the answers. You ain't showing no fucking documentation. None of you. None of you motherfuckers are showing any documentation. I show you fucking bona fide fucking white papers that you're going to fucking question. I got fucking time in my day to fucking draft up and copy and paste and fucking Photoshop and shit. Fuck you. You can find this paper for yourself. Force level effectiveness modeling for the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile. There's a shitload of other documents out there like this. But I wanted, I wanted to use this example because I'm familiar with this system. Not familiar in the sense that I know about the engineer and how it's designed and all that other kind of shit. But because I've seen this missile in action. There's a shitload of video online about showing this fucking thing in action too. I mean, they, they literally have fighter jets fucking tracking these things and flying right alongside them just to watch their performance. And we all know that fighter jets are actually designed behind what? What are they designed behind? NASA's 1988 publication, Linear Aircraft Models, based on a stationary atmosphere or a non-rotating flat Earth, rig a, a rigid aircraft of constant mass. That's what a fucking aircraft is, a rigid aircraft of constant mass, a missile system, a tomahawk, a rigid aircraft of constant mass. The Earth is flat, people. You're a global you ain't got fucking no documentation to prove that they're actually using mathematics and other sciences to factor in fucking curvature. I can't find shit. There is no white papers at all at any university where they talk about inputting ge linear algebra and geometry inside calculations to factor in the curvature of the fucking earth. They all talk about flat terrain. All of them. They all do. I challenge a fucking single glober to show me a bona fide fucking research paper that talks about factoring in the curvature of the earth. And what the mathematics looks like. I challenge you. It's a fucking open challenge. This is it. What the fuck else you need to show these fucking globers to prove that the earth is flat? Other than the military's own fucking documentation. What the hell else do you need to show them? You can show them fucking photos all day long. They'll claim your shit's Photoshop. You'll claim their shit's Photoshop. They'll claim your shit's CGI. They'll, you'll claim their shit's CGI. Fuck all these photos. Show them the documentation. Show them this. And then they can shut the fuck up. And then we can start focusing on real fucking initiatives to start stripping away the layers to bring down some of these fucking organizations to force them into fucking congressional hearings to prove that the shit that they claim they're getting billions of dollars for launching up into fucking space actually fucking exists. Because until they can show you one satellite in real time video taking a fucking video of another satellite that's in the same fucking orbital plane and path, then you gotta keep pushing this shit. Make sure it gets fucking mainstream. Because right now, the shit you're putting out is just conjecture. You're guessing. You ain't got no proof. I keep giving you all of the information to show you they got fucking software programs that can do this shit. I keep giving you all the information to show you just about everything I possibly can. And here it is, we got another fucking article. Okay, this is from a website called Electronics World. Okay, uh, title of this section was Aerospace Expert Systems. But get this, they, they talk about different types of missiles, right? Strategic missiles, tactical missiles, 
exo-atmospheric missiles, endo-atmospheric missiles, right? But check this out here. Let me see where did I find this. I want to find the section where they actually talk about this shit. Surface to air, air to surface. Okay, get this. Let me blow this up a little bit here for you guys. Guided methods. Guidance methods. Fixed targets with known fixed positions. So that's buildings, tanks. Shit that's staying still long enough for you to get a fix on them using whatever navigation system they're using, which is practically, I mean, it's, most of it's shit is ground-based. If they do got anything up there conducting any sort of mapping, then that thing is in some sort of, you know, flight, pre-programmed flight path where it's actually over the target. That's what they're using drones for now. I don't know if you guys knew this, but most of the fucking drones they're using out in Afghanistan, Iraq, and other places, these are drones that are actually, they're GPS platforms. They're aerial fucking targeting and navigation platforms. If, if you guys don't know, they have the E-2 Hawkeye up there. That's a fucking signal intelligence navigation platform. When, when planes, when fighter jets take off from aircraft carriers, they launch that fucking thing first before they launch the, 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 the fighter jets. Because that thing is up in the air relaying the communications from the air at high altitudes down to the aircraft and you see that spinning disc okay that flat disc that's spinning on top of the Hawkeye and I'll pull up a picture of the fucking thing so you can see what it is I'm talking about that's transmitting all of the communications from the ship ground based systems to the aircraft it's also providing navigation for them they handle all of that shit up in the air so where the fuck are the satellites are supposed to be conducting a, that are supposed to be at you know hundreds of fucking miles in orbit? Telling the pilots where they are. Because they ain't fucking anything up there. That's why. Everything is within our atmosphere providing all sorts of guidance, direction, finding, and navigation. It all is. That's where it's all at. So let's let's just read this here. Inertially guided missiles. Inertially guided missiles use missile spatial navigation information relative to some inertial frame of reference to guide a missile to its designated tar target. For short range missions, one may use a flat, oh shit. For short range missions, short range, one may use a flat earth constant gravity inertial frame of reference. This approach is not appropriate for long-range missions approaching intercontinental distances for which the Earth may not be treated as flat. So, I'm not engaging confirmation bias. I'm being fucking fair. But here's the deal. When they use, when they, when they engage in long-range missions approaching intercontinental distances for which the flat Earth model can't be used, because get this, 70% of the fucking flat earth is water. So when you look at the land masses, right, you look at the capability of the Tomahawk, which is six, the range is 600 nautical miles to 1,000 nautical miles, right? If you're out in the ocean launching a Tomahawk, or you're land-based, most of the Tomahawks are launched uh, from the water, right? Then it's going to travel a certain amount of distance from the water, which is probably somewhere between 12 to 200 miles off the coast of any continental landmass. So it's got to travel at least somewhere between 20 to 100, maybe 100 nautical miles. I'm going to say 20 nautical miles because, you know, a ship's got to want to get as close as possible so they can get mac maximum range effectiveness of that tomahawk because it's got to take first a vertical trajectory Right, it gets launched vertically, then it takes this little arc like that bullshit space shuttle and all rocket launchers does, and then then it gets down, then it decreases in altitude to get to 
surface land mass uh, uh, um, travel trajectory. So it's going up, coming back down to the surface, and basically hugging the earth, baby. Hugging the flat earth. So that's at least 10, 20, 30 miles of travel just right there once it's launched. So they say for such missions, the sun or stars provide an inertial frame reference, frame of reference. One can also use an earth. One can also use an earth centered variable gravity frame position. Information is typically obtained by an integrating acceleration information obtained by accelerometers or by pattern matching algorithms exploiting imaging systems because accelerometers are sensitive to gravity they must be mounted in a fixed position with respect to gravity typically accelerometers are mounted on platforms that are stabilized by gyroscopes or star tracking telescopes terrain and stellar navigation systems are examples of imaging systems satellite navigated missiles use satellites for navigation some satellite guided missiles use the navstar gps or constellation of orbiting navigate navigation satellites to navigate and guide the missile to its target gps has increased accuracy reduced miss distance significantly okay so they're not factoring in any fucking curvature at all they're not factoring in the spin of the earth because we know the Earth is fucking stationary. The atmosphere is stationary. They have to know what the atmospheric conditions are. You know, when they launch that missile, you can't be going from a warm environment to a cold environment. What I say is, is that if it's like a cold day out on the ocean, you know, that's why they got to launch it to a vertical level. Get it vertical first, because then the, it may be warmer once they get on the landmass, depending on what time of year it was. So they know how... The cold and the heat's going to actually affect, you know, uh, the accuracy and travel of that missile. Again, I'm not a fucking missile expert. I'm not a missile instructor like that guy that was on Mark's show. But this guy didn't provide no fucking documentation. So you guys are just, you, you're dependent upon just trusting this guy for his word and, and trusting the person who was hosting the show to believe that this guy is actually telling the fucking truth. Well, I'm telling you here right now, he's telling the truth. Because I'm showing you the fucking documentation. See, Mark won't ask these guys to bring no fucking documentation. I will. I had one of his guests before. Hey, ask him a specific question. And he punked up and says, oh, I need to take down the fucking video. Because uh, I, I misunderstood the question. The fuck he did misunderstand the fucking question. When I asked the guy who was an air traffic controller. When you're giving a pilot instructions who comes into your fucking area of operation of coverage. What type of information are you giving the pilot? Are you telling him turn left or right this many degrees? And climbing altitude or, or dropping altitude? Or are you telling him hey. Turn left 90 degrees south or north or northwest. He says, no, we're just telling them turn left, you know, 14 degrees, you know, climb 500 feet, 1,000 feet. And then when he hears the fucking video, he ends up emailing my former partner, Jeff Stewart, to tell him, hey, I misunderstood the question. You need to take down that video. I don't want to be confused with shit. Oh, fucking shit, man. And I guarantee you, I could stump fucking Mark's fucking guests the same fucking way. Especially the motherfuckers who say they're in the military. Because if you ask them, hey, do you have the documentation? You got any kind of reference manuals or training manuals you could refer to that you could share online with us? That I could post to support what you're saying? I'm not doubting what you're saying, but hey, for my guests and my listeners who are listening, they like to have some sort of textual reference they can refer to. So they're just not taking your fucking word for it. Well, now you can take their word for it. Because I just showed you. Documentation, people. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. 
And those people talking about, oh yeah, the earth is flat. Hey, I applaud them for coming out and supporting the movement and confirming what we fucking already know. But people, there ain't enough people going to fucking Mark's channel. He ain't got 100,000, 200,000 motherfuckers, a million motherfuckers who are looking into the flat earth saying, hey, this guy's fucking channel, this guy's videos, the people he has on his show, this is the proof right here. I'm not saying everybody should be flocking to him. What I'm saying is that if that's going to be the flat earth fucking clues, then that should be called flat earth fucking fact. When you got somebody speaking about it, and then you got somebody showing you the documentation to support what it is they're saying. And they ain't fucking doing this shit. I ain't put out this video to help fucking Mark or anybody. I'm showing you that the government that you support, you pay taxes to, they know the fucking earth is flat. If you were expecting them to go on fucking television or put up some sort of paper or press release saying... Yeah, 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 we want to address the whole flat earth issue. We know Obama and Hillary Clinton and John Kerry keep fucking with us and, you know, saying this shit all the time. But, hey, we want to set the fucking record straight once and for all. Yes, our defense and weapons and missile systems and aeronautic systems and astronautic systems and aerodynamic systems are based on a flat earth terrain model. You got us. However, we're still trying to fucking figure out what the rest of the system is is designed like because we don't fucking know we've been showing you guys a ball but we're not really sure if it's really a fucking ball because we can't give you a full on fucking vertical 90 degree view of what the earth looks like because we can't get there so yes the flat earth is a right but not 100 percent because we can't figure out what the rest of the system looks like we don't know how it fucking functions we've been studying for over 100 years and we still can't get the fuck out there we can't get into outer fucking true free space vacuum. So we don't know if it exists. There ain't no harm in admitting that shit. There ain't no harm. You ain't gonna, the, the government ain't going to get overthrown. I mean, you're going to get some shit for fucking lying to people for fucking as long as you have. You're going to get some shit for fucking taking people's money, telling them that this is this fucking fabulous fucking space program. And you going out to the moon and all these other fucking places, and we figure out that, hey, the moon ain't even as far as what you say it was. The Mars ain't as far as what you say. The sun ain't as far as, as, as you say it was. So, yeah, they're going to be some pissed off fucking people. But, hey, you got all the fucking guns. You got all the bullets. You got the fucking mil military to stand behind you. I don't think there's enough people that can motherfucking just take over the whole country based on that fucking big ass lie that you told. So you better get ready to just fucking come out in the open and say that shit now and get it over with. Because a lot of you motherfuckers ain't going to be in office anymore. And yeah, they're going to be people who be like, fuck this. I ain't fucking paying my taxes anymore to fucking fund that NASA bullshit. They've been lying to us. Then. What else you lying to us about? See, that's what you're afraid of. But I mean, keep it real, people. Keep it fucking real. That's all I got to say. Somebody makes a claim about some shit, have them put up a video, have them show you the documentation. If they're going to put together their own, own little video presentations and illustrations on AutoCAD or Adobe Connect or whatever the fuck they're going to use, then it should better be based on the fucking science and the mathematics that the government's already using. They're using the flat earth model. They show you what the shit looks like. I don't know how many documents I didn't show you guys. Supporting the whole goddamn thing. I showed you a U.S. Army document based on propagation of electromagnetic wave over a flat earth. U.S. Army Research Laboratory. I showed you a NASA document. They all admit it. The National Reconnaissance Office admits it. The National Geospatial Office admits it. What else the fuck do you want? This is the proof you need for the, to, to throw it in the face of Globers. And ignore those motherfuckers. You, your job is not to teach them. You learned it. By doing your research, let them learn it by doing their fucking research. And if you got people on your show who are going to be talking about, I prove this, I prove that, I prove this, I prove that, and they don't show you any fucking document where the flat terrain or flat earth is actually mentioned in the fucking document, and it's been peer-reviewed, scholarly-reviewed, sourced, confirmed, and, and verified, 
then they're just fucking guessing too. This shit ain't about making your best guess that this is what the earth is like. This shit is based on fact. And the fact of the matter is, okay, the facts are the earth, the fucking terrain is flat. Period. End the motherfucking argument. Stop wasting your fucking time with all this NASA bullshit. They're never going to be able to provide anything real to you. But you're looking for that one fucking slip up. Come on, these people got all kinds of advisors and assistants and, you know, associates who make sure that what they say, that shit is careful. And some of them are stupid and they just let them say the shit. Let them fuck up. But this is it right here. And inertially doesn't mean the fucking earth is spinning. Okay? Doesn't mean we're rotating. It means that based on velocity and acceleration, you create inertia. If you run as fast as you can and try to change fucking direction really rapidly, the inertia will get your fucking ass to fall on your face or run up against a fucking wall or fall down. That's basic physics. And here, when it comes to long-range missile guidance systems, they're actually tracking, they're using the fixed fucking constellations to guide this fucking weapon to where it needs to go. They're using gyroscopes and fucking the constellations. And Globers want to continue to assume we're on a fucking globe rotating at 1,000 miles an hour, traveling at 67,000 miles an hour, chasing a fucking sun? So how the fuck does the star stay with us then? That right there proves the fact that what I had said before, that the stars are actually within one of the layers of our atmosphere, and that's the only thing rotating, is those fucking stars. They're rotating in their own little le layer, but the first layer, the troposphere, stationary as a motherfucker. Yeah, you see clouds moving, but that's wind vector. That's wind carrying the clouds. Some of that shit's created from chemtrails. Barometric pressure, you know, creating all kinds of condensation and shit up in the sky. Cold air hitting hot air. A lot of this shit's artificial. Documentation, people. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. And if this ain't enough proof for you, and you're a flat earther, you're going to challenge what the fuck I'm putting out, then you're really not a flat earther. Any flat earther who's challenging another flat earther, one of those motherfuckers is done to believe in the flat earth. They're just posers. They're imposters. Now, I challenge other flat earthers, but not in the sense where I'm telling them, hey, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I challenge them in the sense that they say, listen, you had this person on your show saying this is the proof they have the earth is flat. But all they're doing is regurgitating somebody else's shit that put it up on another video or they talk to somebody else. They're not showing you no documentation. What I've been doing more of is providing the documentation to give you guys the fuel for your fucking continued fire in this movement to support what it is you're trying to put out. But if you don't want to accept this and you totally dispense with it and reject it, then you're not a fucking flat earther. You a motherfucking secret glober trying to capitalize on the fucking naivety, the ignorance, and the fucking just plain old stupidity of people who are following you and not realizing that you really don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because you don't believe in this shit at all yourself. So you're doing the best you fucking can. Well, you better fucking do better. You better start searching for the documentation that supports your hypothesis, your theories, and your beliefs. Clutching your motherfucking Bible and shit. Trying to say the Bible says this, the Bible says that. Well, hey, this channel, this guy, and this channel said this. He, he provided this. He, you let, uh, you're taking somebody else's hard work and fucking homework and research, and then you putting a, trying to put a different spin on it to make it look like it's your own. And then you don't even want to mention the person's name to give them the proper fucking credit. 
But then somebody smart enough who's following you will catch on to that shit and they'll find that shit that you talked about and realize that somebody else spoke about it before you. And then you'll deny that you, you didn't know that it existed. So, hey, that's great that somebody else talk about it because you didn't, you didn't know about it. Bullshit, you didn't fucking know about it. Because for you to talk about it, you did a fucking Google search, Bing search, Yahoo search. And it popped up in the motherfucking query search, maybe in the top 10, top 20 on fucking YouTube or some other goddamn fucking website. And you decided to look into it, maybe do a little bit more surface fucking research. And then you took their information and just repackaged it to make it look like it's your own. That's some fucked up shit. If any of you went to a university, that's fucking called plagiarism. You get kicked out of fucking university for that shit. For stealing somebody else's shit. And it's not really stealing somebody else's shit. You're taking somebody else's information, their thoughts, their analysis, their work, and trying to make it your own. I, I applaud everybody out there for saying, hey, do your own research, do your own research. But don't put out information and then take the neutral path and say, hey, do your own research. When you actually using somebody else's fucking research. And if somebody else found this data out there that I put out there already. Hey. I don't take credit for being the only one to talk about this shit. The only one to find it. Then it had to be somebody else to find this shit and figure this out. And if there was nobody who talked about it and found it and talked about it first. Hey. Then I'll take the credit by saying, hey, I mentioned this. I found this. But the material I found, I wasn't the one who published it. I wasn't the one who generated it. I just found it. And I did a little bit of link analysis, link analysis to put two and two together to say, oh, this must be the answer. Instead of talking about it, be about it. It's not what you know. It's what you can prove. I'd love to start seeing some fucking documentation. Fuck all these homemade motherfucking models and these, the, these, these, Generic fucking configurations using software programs. You don't have the first fucking idea how to use properly. Learn how to use the shit. Instead of spending, you put up an hour video, two, three hour video. And over half that motherfucking time was spent. You just making sure it looks real nice. Presented, you know. Somewhat organized and professional. Watching the language you use. Trying to use highly advanced technical fucking language and descriptions to, to confuse people. To make it seem like, you know, you're this fucking guru. You know what you're talking about. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're just better off just reading this shit as you fucking found it. And let people decide for themselves. And get some input. So we can all collectively think together and think alike and behave in a like manner instead of going after one channel, you know, because they got more followers or they not, they putting this out or they, they, they said this or they said that. And then when somebody goes against what you're saying and it's a flat earther, you want to fucking attack them. You don't have to convince another flat earther the earth is fucking flat. Because if you got to go through a fucking challenge to convince another flat earther that your evidence proves, provides more support and evidence to claim, to, to make the claim that the earth is in fact flat, then that person is not a flat earther. You leave them the fuck alone. Just let them listen to your video. Just let them hear what you had to say. Let them make the comments they're going to make. And you decide to fucking respond to them or you decide not to respond to them. But I know that what I'm putting out is right there in black and fucking white. I'm showing it to you. I'm not just speaking out of my fucking ass and guessing. This shit is starting to make me fucking sick to my fucking stomach, man. But yeah, I put out the videos and I talk about it. You motherfuckers just worried about playing nice with each other and shit like that and being fucking politically correct and fucking being a good Christian and whatever. 
You don't want to use foul language because kids may be listening. Man, kids are listening to this fucking language elsewhere, whether you like it or not. They need to grow up with a motherfucking backbone to learn how to fucking express themselves any which way they fucking choose to. And my cursing gets my fucking point across. I don't give a fuck who you are. What I say, it comes across real fucking clear. It tells you not only how the fuck I feel, how passionate I am about it, what I fucking believe, what I'm focused on, and how fucking determined I am to let you know. Unless you provide me with something else to contradict what the fuck it is I've been putting out and what I've been saying, I ain't change. You ain't gonna change my fucking mind. You're not gonna change my mind. It don't take a lot to change my mind either. Instead of telling me, show me. And then we can have a civil conversation. Y'all have a nice day.